Hello, welcome back. Today, I'm going to reveal 10 top motivational quotes that will help you right now. So let's jump in. The first quote is, the difference between a weed and a flower is judgment. So think about that one for just a minute. So normally we think of weeds and negative, we don't want those in our yard. And then we have flowers where everyone has a particular favorite, but generally flowers are looked at very positive. So but then you think, well, hmm, what about dandelions? If you have a field of dandelions, and honestly, sunflowers, they're technically weeds. So it's kind of related to don't judge a book by its cover. I was really drawn to this quote just because it does, it kind of relates to, you know, stop and smell the roses or that type of thing where again, it's referencing a flower. At the same time, it doesn't necessarily mean that because a rose is a flower or something is particularly beautiful in the broad sense or socially beautiful, it doesn't mean that something that's not socially beautiful isn't necessarily beautiful. The second quote is, and this one actually has really helped me in the past couple weeks. It is, let whatever you do today be enough. Is that something that could apply to you right now? Do you go through the day and think, wow, I really should have done this, or I really could have gotten that done, or if I would have just done this one thing, I could have gotten to this, or you basically nothing is enough or you get to the end of the day and feel like I was a failure because I didn't get through these items that I wanted to do. Now whether that be cleaning or cooking meals for the week or talking to a friend, calling mom and dad, uh, I mean it could be anything in your life where if you get through that end of the day and you don't feel like you've done enough I'm a new mom. I have a lot going on. Not as much as some moms, especially when they have multiple children. But I feel like sometimes when I get through the end of the day, I should have done this. I should have done that. I could have gotten to the dishes. I could have put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher. I could have vacuumed at least one room. I could have made the bed in the morning. I could have worked an extra hour. I could have, I mean, the list goes on and on. But if you do that, it's just going to eat away at you and you're not, you're never going to feel like you've done enough. So this quote really means a lot to me because one of my coworkers, when I opened up to her, she actually shared that quote with me and that's something that really helped her out as well. So I hope that that will help you or you know someone that you can, you know, relay this message to, to look, whatever you do today, be, be enough. The third quote is, your life is a story write well and edit often. This one I thought was very interesting as I was looking up some more motivational quotes that meant a lot to me. So your life is a story. That in particular means a lot. You don't have to go through life living what society wants you to live. Your life is your story. And you hear all the time, you only get one life. You only get one life. Live your life. Your life is your story. You have to live how you want to live. You have to do what's important to you. Otherwise, you're living someone else's story. You're living through someone else's story. Someone is writing your story for you. That's no fun at all. My, I can truly say that every year of my life has gotten better. This year is even better than last year. The next year is gonna be even better than the next year. I don't, never do I go back and say, wow, I wish I was in high school again. Or I wish I could go back to these days. Now, sometimes, of course, I wish I could go back to Christmas morning when I was, you know, 10, 11 years old, of course. But now, this is my life. I'm writing my story. And write well and edit often. Now, write well it doesn't always mean that you will write well. It doesn't always mean that every day you are going to do a good job or live every day at its fullest. It's okay. Some people, we do go through that eight to five job and that is the life. That's the life we chose 
in our choosing so that we can have the, the things that we want for tomorrow and today. Edit often. If you don't like something particular in particular about your life, if you are going through your life and you don't like an aspect of it, negative friends, negativity in the workplace, your actual workplace, um, the way you're eating or how a friend has treated you, edit that. You have to have courage to edit your story. Just like when we were writing papers, right? We'll take it back down to a literal level. Just like we were writing papers in school. You don't just write one sentence and go with it throughout the whole paper. You take it back a little bit and you write a little bit more and you take back a little bit. That's how you should go through your life. Doing the best that you can. And if you go down one of those, one of those wrong, wrong ways, then back up. It's okay. You don't have to keep going. And actually I have another quote in here that's going to really kind of go into that one in a different way. But you don't have to keep going down that road if you don't want to. You can back up. You can edit it. You can continue writing in a different direction. Your life is a story. Write well. Edit often. The fourth one is kind of simple. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. So this quote here, basically making sure that you're looking for the positive in everything. This is really difficult. It's one that I struggle with a lot, actually. Um, it's one where sometimes you don't slow down enough to look for those rainbows, to look for those stars. You just keep chugging along through life and judgment here and judgment there. And before you know it, you're, you're unhappy or you're overwhelmed with negative feelings and now you're having to really struggle through those feelings those emotional feelings so look for the positive in everything you can make a difference let every person that you touch every person that you encounter let them leave happy okay that's another quote that we're not going to use today but that's just another feeling another way that you should go through life is every person you encounter whether it's negative or a positive interaction, let feel positive. Look for those good things in those in their life and in, in those people. The fifth quote is one that I really, really enjoy because I don't like to sit and worry. It's been something that I did struggle through a lot as, as a younger person, um, especially through my teenage years, is worrying. I used to worry a lot. So this quote is, worry does not take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. So how often do you go through each day worrying about this and worrying about that and how am I gonna pay for this bill, which should be a concern, obviously, but you know, worrying about your weight, worrying about your looks, worrying about what you're gonna wear tomorrow, worrying about all these different things, okay? It doesn't mean, when you continue to worry, it doesn't mean that that's gonna get any better. All it does is it makes you go through today feeling negative, feeling like you're worthless, feeling like you have so much to do and you can never get there. So try not to worry. Try to just move on. If there's a problem, fix it. If there's something you don't like, remember, your life is your story, right? Well, edit often. Go back, edit it. Another thing is it's never too late to start. If you have a relationship and that relationship is not going very well right now, continuing to worry about it through today, tomorrow, the next week, the next month is not going to help. Okay, If that relationship should be positive and moving forward, then worrying about it today is not going to fix it. It's just going to eat you inside. Call that person. Reach out to that person. Try to make that connection. Fix this problem. That is what's going to fix and create peace. And that also kind of leads into this next quote here. Don't stress the could-haves. If it should have, it would have. <sighs> Easier said than done, right? I remember going through my college years thinking, oh, is this the one? Is he the one? You know, how do I make sure that I look good? And, you know, am I going to be good enough for him? You know, all those types of things. Honestly, and obviously, if it should have, it would have. Maybe, maybe you have a situation where 
you were thinking, well, I could have done this, or I could have done that, or if I just would have done this. If it should have, it would have. And remember, worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. Number seven, strive for progress, not perfection. So how many out there are perfectionists? I definitely am. So as long as you're moving forward, you're creating that progress. You're reaching that goal. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, back to that, your life is your story, right? Well, edit often. As long as you're moving forward, you're going to reach that end goal that you want. It doesn't always have to be perfect. A lot of us struggle with that in the workplace. You want to be perfect at work. You want to make sure that you do that job extremely well so that way you can move up that ladder, which is great. But sometimes you, you have to ask for help. You have to ask for guidance. That's the only way that you're going to progress and strive up even further than that. Now this next quote, this one is a little crazy. I, I read this one to my husband and he was like, oh, I'm not sure about that one. So this one is, if you're going through hell, keep going. What does that mean to you? Do, you? do you think that's a little odd or weird? To me it means if you're going through the worst of the worst of the worst and you just feel like you can't take it anymore, all you can do is just keep going. Keep going and you will find the light at the end of that tunnel. If you're going through that worst situation, it's going to be tough. You've got to ask for help. You've got to ask for a friend to talk to. You've got to reach out for those connections. And probably there's other people, more than likely, there are other people who've gone through something similar, if not the same thing. Even if people do go through the same thing that you might be going through or a friend might be going through, our feelings are all going to be different. The way we process that interaction, the way we process those feelings, it's all going to be different. So my advice isn't always going to work for you. Your advice isn't always going to work for me. And you could tell me one thing and someone else could tell me the exact same thing. And that's not always going to click the same way just because our interactions and our social ability is all different. This next one um, is kind of a shout out to one of my stepdaughters. This is one of her favorite quotes. Uh, it's okay not to be okay. When she brought this up to me uh, one time, I just thought it was, it, it really kind of stunned me for a moment, like, well, no, it's not. Well, yeah, just like when we go back to let whatever you do today be enough. It's okay not to be okay. And if you're not okay, and again, we can kind of go back to the previous quote, look for help. Look for someone who can connect with you. And again, even if they can't completely connect on the same terms, they can still listen and show you the compassion that you need or relate to the situation that's going on and help you get through that. And sometimes you just have to cry it out. It's not fun. Sometimes you just need that space. It's like, leave me alone. I'm going to be mad right now. And then I'm going to take the time that I need. And it's like, and sleep also really helps. If you take a nap and you just get over it, then, and that, that's for small things, obviously. But I guess my main point to this one is it's okay not to be okay. But at the same time, you don't want to let that prolong to a, to a point where you're going through life, you know, and you're not okay the whole time. So, but for those moments where you just need a little bit of breathing room, know that it's okay you need to take that moment for yourself. You need to make sure that you're doing what you need to do to heal as a person. And sometimes, again, there are some people that just can't get to you in that way and you just need that personal space and that's okay. The final quote here is, when you look for the good in others, you discover the good in yourself. This is another life philosophy that is really difficult for me for some sometimes where there's so much spam and scamming going on in the world. There's so many people that just want something from you and want to take things from you that it's hard sometimes to see the good in other people. 
it's hard to connect with people because you don't know if one they're lying to you if they're going to hurt you if they're bound to get try, try to get something out of you um, if they're just in for you know whatever reason but to be your friend sometimes it's really hard but you have to you have to give people the benefit of the doubt that's one thing that i really struggled with until i met my husband and he is a strong believer of giving the benefit of the doubt now you do set yourself up for some hurt um, that way just because you don't dig to the you don't dig to the bottom of things as quickly um, but you're also a lot happier because when you give the benefit of the, uh, when you give the benefit of the doubt to that person it's on them to come back to you and show you that they either did something wrong or that you know there was more to that story but when you look for the good in others and you find an inner peace in yourself that makes you strong as a person that makes you move forward and help other people that keeps you positive and centered so that you can share more positive experiences with other people right that keeps your life story moving forward which quote was your favorite today? Did you have one that was more relatable to your situation or a situation that you may be going through with a friend or family? Leave a comment below and let me, let me know which um, quote was your favorite. I still have to go with let whatever you do today be enough. That is just something that is going on with my life right now, being a new mom. So I hope that one specifically helps. That's kind of my golden star quote of the video. Um, but I hope these helped you. I hope these help you help someone else. And I'll just kind of recap them here. And if there's anything that you need, if you need a friend or someone to come to, please reach out, contact me. Um, I'll link my email below. You can always reach out for advice. Um, I'd love to do more of these types of videos. But again, I hope these really helped you. I hope that you were able to find some, um, some guidance today. These quotes I felt like should help you today. If not all of them, at least one or two of them should help you right now with something that's going on in your life. All right, that's all for now. Again, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.